Um, a lot of my own stories are semi-autobiographical. They sort of like reflect what I've experienced um, as I travel or as I go along. Yeah. And some of it are social commentaries, just things I want to say about life, about things, about people, and they're all sort of hidden behind the meanings, in, uh, behind the, the pictures, yeah. When um, the gallery first asked me for, to write this story, um, I was reading an article on um, the building of the new MRT line, and it was going to cut through the central catchment area. And, you know, because I, I really love um, nature and animals, and, and so that's why you see a lot of that in my work. Um, so I thought, oh, um, and there was a lot of debate between like the Nature Society and the government departments to, how, to, to see how they can solve the problem, build the MRT, divert the line, or go through the damage that was going to make to the forest and destroy you know, animal life and stuff like that. So I thought, oh, that's a good premise for a story. So um, I came up with the story of this fish who's, um, who's transported, like he, he lives in the sea, but he got caught in a storm and was transported into a forest. And this forest is, I mean, sort of take it, I sort of took um, the, um, what do you call it? The, uh, the platform using the MacRitchie area, that the central catchment area as the premise of the story and created you know, it gave me ideas, and I used it in, in this story. So basically, he meets this bunch, a group of animals in the forest, and they discover that, oh, part of the forest is being destroyed, and it's crunching up all the trees. And, and so they try to, um, so they try to uh, seek help to, uh, to, to, to save the forest from destruction. Home. Well, um, Singapore's been my home for the last 25 years. Um, I became a PR many years ago and I recently applied for my citizenship and got turned down because I didn't fulfill all the tick boxes um, as a um, freelance artist. I don't have a, I think, I don't know, I don't know what, where, where, where I don't tick the box. I, I suspect it's because I don't have a um, fixed monthly income, um, but I've been able to uh, support myself. I have my own, I rent my own home here, or my own house, and uh, I'm able to live and work. Um, so um, I made an appeal after it was rejected the first time, and the second time I was asked to bring my artwork in because they wanted to see my contribution to Singapore art for the last 10, 15 years. I'm also mentioned in the book that is, um, or rather I, I'm in one of the 38 artists of, um, in a book called Singapore Women Artists that has been published by the Singapore Art Museum. So I'm hoping that I will um, get a positive answer the second time around. Childhood. Um, I've had an interesting childhood. Sometimes it was good, sometimes it was bad. Um, and I think that, um, you know, um, it's good to never grow up. Laughter. <laughs> um, <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I have a few, but I'm not telling. <laughs> um, sometimes I'd like to do that too. I would just like to do that and just be there. Oh gosh, um, what I find really annoying is beepy noises, beeping, toots, horns. So I like to go to the place before that and not hear that. 